When Sabah Youssef put her children on a wooden boat, she was trying to make it to Europe by any means possible. Instead, the journey became the worst tragedy this year in the Mediterranean Sea. Nearly 150 passengers were rescued by local fishermen. Her son wasn't one of them. She's blaming international organizations for a lack of support. I lost my seven-year-old child. I don't want anything now except to go back to my country, Sudan, to die there. Survivors were returned to Libya, a primary departure point for people fleeing poverty and war in Africa and the Middle East. One person drowns in the Mediterranean for every six that successfully reach Europe's shores. We've now had more than 700 deaths on the Mediterranean this year. Uh, if current trends for this year continue, that will see us pass more than 1,000 deaths on the Mediterranean for the sixth year in a row. Uh, that's a really bleak milestone uh, that really bears thinking about. It comes just weeks after more than 50 people lost their lives in a detention centre uh, following an airstrike in Tajura. Uh, and really, once again, stresses the urgency, if it was needed, of a, of a need for a shift in approach to the situation in Libya and the Mediterranean. Libya's Coast Guard continues to take migrants to Tajura, the detention center holding mostly African migrants that was bombed three weeks ago by air forces believed to be loyal to the warlord Khalifa Haftar. It's near the front line of fighting as Haftar tries to take the capital. The UN says the current model, which is backed by the EU, must change, one where Libya's Coast Guard intercepts and forcibly returns people caught trying to cross the sea. That there's a conflict going on and the migrants then become a pawn in this game. They're used to make money for people, they have to pay their passage quite often by being an indentured servitude in effect, and then they're put in the high seas. It's just not a happy situation and the Europeans turning away from it or banning boats from rescuing people is certainly not the way to go. The UN Refugee Agency estimates that 6,000 other refugees and migrants are being held in Libyan detention centers even though they haven't committed a crime, yet they remain highly at risk of getting caught in a conflict or dying at sea. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.